to our look at the upcoming week of August 17th in the binary options markets. You can see I have the economic calendar in front of you. And uh, we kick off Monday with trade balance out of the uh, European Union. That is a medium kind of strength moving uh, event for the DAX, the CAC, uh, the Euro. Unless it's an absolute blowout in one direction or the other, it probably won't have too much of an effect. Tuesday has the meeting minutes from the RBA that could move the Australian dollar. And then we get into CPI in the United Kingdom. That, of course, is very high uh, as far as its uh, influence on the FTSE and the pound. So we will be paying attention to that. As we go a little bit farther into the week, we have Wednesdays. Uh, consumer price index CPI uh, out of the United States. That's a big stock mover in the United States. And of course, crude oil uh, stocks change that will move the oil markets, which has been very negative recently. Uh, FOMC minutes come out as well. Uh, so that could make uh, Wednesday a very US centric day. As we look a little later in the week, uh, we have the Jackson Hole Symposium going, and that is a difficult one to measure in the sense that it's all about statements in the press. So just recognize that there could be a bit of volatility based on that. And as we round out the week, we're looking at continuing an initial jobless claims out of the United States and uh, the Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing uh, Survey, which is a stock moving uh situation as well really at this point in time uh, wouldn't expect much uh, the final uh, the Friday session of the week of course we have CPI coming out of Canada so that could move the Canadian dollar uh, but at that point in time the week is pretty much done so now it's time to look at charts you can see that the S&P 500 did fall a bit during the course of the week but we keep finding support at 2050 so quite frankly every time we dip towards that level looking to buy calls it's the wrong time of year to expect any type of massive move in one direction or the other we think continuation of the consolidation will be the way going forward for the rest of the week gold markets did get a little bit of a rally during the week but uh, we see quite a bit of resistance uh, coming up at the 1140 level so really at this point in time we feel it's probably more about buying puts on short-term rallies as we should head uh, lower and finally, the euro, as you can see, tried to break out to the upside, but struggled at the 112 level, as we had anticipated previously. So it looks like we are going to continue to bounce around this box. With that, we've taken a look at the upcoming August 17th week in the binary options markets.